In this video, I'll show you how to configure a Dataverse search for a model-driven app. Now, just to give you a context around the application which I have built, so it's a World Airlines Management System, which has a couple of table over here, like airlines, aircraft models, destination cities, flying class, etc. Now, I've used out-of-the-box table like accounts and activities as well. And there are a couple of dashboards. Now, if you see on the top center over here, like here, this one is a search bar. So it will allow you to search for a record. Now, if I go back to a table here, you will see something called as a co-pilot related search. Now, this is in the context of this particular table value. Now, this particular copilot search will allow you to search for, say, how many aircraft greater than 500. So if you have some prompts, it will start executing that prompt against the LLM and it will start giving you that results. So aircraft greater than 500. So I can see there are so many uh, uh, results, like there are five results which has come up. Now, remember, this is like all fictitious data. Now, if you want to search at the top here, if I just type in, say, if I, I just clicked over there and then it has nicely given me the list of airlines, list of accounts, etc. Now, if I start typing, say, Cathay, it will start giving me the output. So if I click on this record, I will be navigated to that specific record. Now, I have an option for search for rows in a table using advanced filter. So I can click over here and then I can navigate to the advanced filter section. So select a table to search and then I can navigate to specific table. Now it also shows the recent searches which I have conducted. So if I click on Apple, then it will give me, uh, it says we didn't find a match for Apple and two tables in World Airlines Management System. Now let's go into uh, the settings how we have got this dataverse search enabled so if i go into power platform admin center and i go into the specific environment so in my case it is the dev environment so i'll go to the dev environment go to the settings uh, and then under product i will navigate to features And then on the right hand side, you will see search. So it says manage how search works in this environment. So data was search. So we have turned on the search. It says when on searches in supported product areas will use data was search. Model driven app will also receive search improvements. Now we have this option to perform single table search operation. And we have this prevent slow keyword filter. So there are like a whole bunch of things which you can perform within the search. But uh, I would like you to go to one step ahead, like if I click on whatever search on, then the search box will be enabled. But now think about it, like I have this airlines, right? So if I just type in say 40 as a number, I get to see the result only from accounts, as you see. So anything which has a phone number, which has four zero in it, it has given me the output. If I go to airlines, and then if I just type in Swiss and I'll just type in, uh, I'll just click on search airlines for Swiss. It didn't find any matching records. Similarly, if I go to aircraft models, I have this Airbus, Boeing, wide body, long range, etc. So if I type in Boeing, it will not find the value. Now it tried giving me the result but from a contact or from an account but if i type in boeing i am not able to see that result so how can we enable that okay so if i want to search for airbus or boeing i should be able to find that information now for that what we can do is the search settings whatever we can configure in the environment is available over here but if you want to configure at a deep level you need to create a, your own solution. So I've already created a solution named as airline core solution. And within the solution, say if you navigate over here, you will see this is the object. So these are the set of objects within the solution. Now, if I go to overview 
on the right hand side you will see something called as dataverse search now this is the area where you can navigate to configure the search index so you need to actually uh, configure the index now columns index for search so in this solution you can see that 1.37 percent used so around of 950 component 13 of them are used so that is 1.37 percent and in this entire environment you are using 25 percent used 244 of 950 now if i click on manage search index here you will see what all columns are indexed so i got a result from account i got a result from airlines and uh, there are other uh, objects through which you can get a result now you might have seen some numbers over here so user 13 columns indexed flying class 4 columns index but i want to configure aircraft model and now it says zero column added to index now even if i select and click on save it will say if i just let me click on save and go to index it says zero columns index now if i go over here and if i type in boeing i don't get any result now for that let's go into the solution again and go into the specific table so aircraft models and see what what all uh, table content that table has so aircraft model and for an aircraft model as you see there there will be a, a column which has aircraft model unique identifier name model range uh, and then we have years of operation then country so all these things exist over here so even if i search for say france uh, i'm not able to get the result right so yeah so for that first thing what you need to do go into the table and make sure that the search is enabled now it says appear in search result now what if i untick this appear in search result and click on save and let me do a hard refresh like i'm just removing the table from the search i don't want that table to be searched so that's the at a very core level so i'll go into the dataverse search over here and i can see that still aircraft model is zero columns added to the index now first thing what you need to do at a table level you need to make sure that it is all configured to be searchable so appear in search result click on save then go to a specific column and then say that you want that column to be indexed okay now that number which we saw over here the number it all comes from the column uh, which you enable for search now let's do one thing let's go into the name go to edit column and we'll say uh, appears uh, so okay so this is the unique identifier uh, for my aircraft model is a unique identifier and name is the first column which gets uh, made available and this is all searchable so i clicked on searchable over here similarly if i go to model and i will make it searchable range edit column searchable now there are a couple of things years of operation it is not searchable and country is not searchable so we are okay with it so we have name model range now still if you go into search index you will not see the number over here now for that what you need to do let's go into views and view we have something called as quick find active aircraft model so let's go over here and see what all columns are added now we have name that's fine let me remove this and i will add i will add say country i will add model i will add range i will add years of operation i will have you see what the type is type yeah so i've added all the custom items which i've added over here click on save and publish so i've added one two three four five six six values i have added one was already there name was already there along with created on uh, column so so i'm just going to publish this view now this view is named as quick find active aircraft models
Now let me do a hard refresh. Now it might take some time for the result to appear. Now what we have done, we have configured the view uh, by telling that, hey, we just want to show that item within the search index. Now, if you see over here, aircraft model has eight columns added to the index. And now uh, after a while, once it is all indexed, you should be able to see the result. So let me now go into the model driven app. And again, it might take some time for the indexing to happen. But once it is done, you should be able to search for the value. So if I just search, say, Boeing, then I should be able to get the result. Earlier, it, I was not able to get the result, but now I'm able to get the result. And it says aircraft models Boeing, and then it will give you the, uh, the output as well. Now, let's do one thing. Let's search for France. Now, you do not see a result for France. Now, why that might have happened is because if you go into the, go back over here. Now, if you see quick find active aircraft models view, here we have added the country, but still the result is not available. Now, for that, we need to first check whether the column is searchable or not. So if I go to country, and if I click on searchable, click on save, and then it will be put into index and then after a while you should be able to get the result it won't be pretty immediate but once the index uh, it is indexed then you should be able to see the result And you will also see the result in the search bar over here as well. So it says search airlines for France, search more results for France. If I click on search more results for France, it will start looking in multiple tables. But again, we have just added this column recently. So it might take some time for that uh, result to appear. Uh, but then the goal of this entire exercise was to show you how to configure a search and selectively enable or disable a column. Now here, uh, for an aircraft model, first you need to configure search at a table level, then at a column level, and make sure that the views which you configure, quick find active aircraft model, here you specify whatever columns you want. Now here we have one, two, three, four, five, six columns, and then it adds a couple of uh, inbuilt columns into the index by default as well. And then with that, you should be able to get the result. So you can also search for, uh, say, countries. Uh, now, as yes, as I typed in USA, I, I got only the result from, say, accounts because the accounts belongs to, uh, has an email which has a keyword USA in it. But uh, over a period of time, you should be able to see other results. Now, as you see, if I type in USA, I got American Airlines, Abigail, uh, Bailey as a result. So if you search for search aircraft models over here, if I search for France, then I think once it is indexed, the value should be uh, appearing over here. Now, USA I can get if I type in Boeing. Yes, I can see Boeing and even it has appeared in the result over here, see. No. So even if I type in Airbus, then it will give me the result of Airbus and any corresponding uh, objects within available within the different tables which are currently indexed and if you want to see more results click on search for more results and then it will give you a uh, like a segregated view of different tables that are available so that's it folks thanks for watching